everybody, welcome. Uh, happy Monday to you. We're starting a brand new week here, and I am thrilled that you chose to join me today for Five Minutes with Phil. And um, we're starting a brand new week, and I want us to take a look at uh, an in interesting story. Now, all of last week, we dealt with the call of Isaiah. Now, just today only, we're going to deal with the calling of Moses, where, where Moses had this pretty interesting experience, and there's a lesson here that I want us to learn from this that I think you'll find pretty interesting. Uh, take a look at the screen, and we're going to look at Exodus chapter 3, beginning in verse 1. And here's what it says. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness, and he came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I'll go over and see this strange sight why the bush does not burn up. And when the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, here I am. Well, if you know the story of Moses, you know that Moses was the one that led the children of Israel out of bondage, out of Egypt, crossed the Red Sea, and uh, started that big trip to the promised land. And that all began with this moment where he is working as a shepherd for his father-in-law and he sees this bush that, ca that catches on fire. Now, in that day, in the desert, uh, it would not be uncommon for a bush just to catch on fire. What made this so strange was the fact that the bush wouldn't burn up. The fire was not consuming the bush. It was something that was really out of the ordinary. Something out of the ordinary. Can I ask you, how do you handle those moments where something out of the ordinary takes place? What do we do? Do we kind of call it a coincidence? Do we kind of call it a, uh, uh, you know, I guess that happened, whatever. Or maybe... Maybe what we might be inclined to call a coincidence, God is actually using that as providence, as a moment to speak to us and to say something, to communicate something, to lead us in a direction that we never thought that he would lead us. I mean, as I read this, I am sure that Moses did not start his day off thinking that God was going to call him to lead the children of Israel out of Egypt. But he used this moment to lay out his complete plan to Moses. Maybe something has happened to you recently that's out of the ordinary. It might be good, it might be not so good. It could be a triumph, maybe it's a tragedy. I've learned that God often uses these out-of-the-ordinary moments, these moments that we don't expect, these moments that normally would not take place, these things that take place that surprise us. I've learned that God often uses these moments to get our attention, and he wants to say something to us. And I guess my message to us this morning would be this. Is God trying to get your attention? Is God trying to convey or communicate something to you? He very well may use it through circumstances that are out of the ordinary. It may not be a burning bush, but it may be something that catches you off guard, that surprises you. And I've learned that with God, there's no such thing as a coincidence. <laughs> With God, there's no such thing as luck. God always knows what he's doing. So this morning, and all throughout this week, actually, let's find ourselves answering God when he's trying to convey something to us. What is he saying to you today? All right, that's all I've got. Thanks for joining me. God bless you. We'll talk to you later.
Bye-bye.